Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 with me, Kim Sawyer. Hope you guys and girls are all well and enjoying your day, whatever you're up to. So you join me here on the... Uh, just literally starting out the corn harvest. And uh, so that's today's order today. We'll get some corn harvesting done. The plan is, what I'll do is I will... Uh, see if I can use this better. Rather than use the mouse. Um, once this is harvested, because this won't take long to harvest, I'll start um, getting it prepped and ready for the... I'm going to put some potatoes or sugar beets in that field there, but only that field there. Um, I might have to rent out a sugar beet harvester. Um, we'll see how things go. But anyway, like I said, I hope you guys and girls are well. Let's grab a tractor. Let's grab the old Massey over here. Seems to be order of play. Let's grab this one. Right. Let's go and um, actually is this gonna be powerful enough for both those trailers? I don't think it is. I'm not gonna risk it just in case. It might be. It might do let's try it. Just for fun. Let's just try see if this thing is powerful enough to power to pull both these trailers. I think it I don't think it will be. I think it's going to be way too small to pull both sets of trailers, but we could be wrong. Right. Did that hook look up? I did now. Well, it's pulling them empty, but pulling them empty is different, totally different story to pulling them when they're full. So let's find out. I see a couple of people already playing Farm Manager um, because PlayWave sent them um, early access or demo versions of it. Again, I can only apologise, being a small channel. Um, I have emailed PlayWay um, to see if they'd be interested in adding me to the listings of you know YouTube players um, to send me um, sort of games to early development game access stuff you know what I mean now do I do this myself I might do the first run myself and see that Mr. Worker over there is already missing bits I think even with course play they still miss bits on here, I'd have to try it one time. Because even with course play, I think it only goes up to a certain point and then it stops. I could be wrong. Either way. It's the nature of this game. Um, oh, he's full. I'm going to do a few runs myself first. Just to change things up a bit. I could actually, actually that's a good idea, for a change, so what I'm going to do peeps, I'm going to let someone else do the car in, I'm going to do drive the combine, yeah you heard me right, just for a change. Um, got plans at the moment, a bit all over the place, um, there's things going on in my life which some of you close people know, close friends of mine know um, what's going on and um, what the full situation is and what's been going on, the reason why I haven't been doing as many uploads um, is my heart hasn't been in when they're doing many recordings. I'm only doing this one purely just to, you know, take my mind off things and make sure you guys are all right and you're doing well. So let's set let's set the tractor up for course play. If there is a route from this field which is gonna be field twenty. Alright, okay. Um I 
Unload field 20. Make sure it's set on the right thing first. No, it's going to be that one. Drive course. Whatever the closest combine is, which is not that one. That one. Don't run me over. Let's jump in this one. Just for a change, let's send the worker back home and do some work for myself. See how badly I can get it wrong. I haven't combined for ages. How hard can it be, right? But as as I'm now doing the combine, I'm going to go and just tidy up that end bit as well. Just because I want to. Um, okay. what I'm planning on doing, um, you'll see it sort of like at some point this week or some point next week whenever I can upload whatever I've been going on. Um, I'm going to do like a, a let's look at Monopoly um, and we'll sh sort of like show Sinky because um, you may, if you've support, uh, subscribed to Sinky, you may have noticed he did a, a multiplayer with me on Monopoly. Um, it's something I bought when it was on sale for about 11 quid. He bought it when it was on a better sale for fiver, being the canny man he is. Um, I just bought it for a bit of fun because I haven't played Monopoly in a long time and I just fancied playing it. I saw it as multiplayer and I thought, hmm, that could be something which could, you know, I could get up to when I'm just a bit fed up with doing anything else. Um, thing I hate about this fact that you can't turn the well. If I, I can turn the combine on, but then what happens is when I'm full, I need to go back to the to the pipe. So I prefer doing it this way. Some of you guys are going to find this a bit repetitive and some of you guys are going to roll over and laugh at how rubbish my combine skills are. And some of you guys are going, wow, well, he's actually doing some work for himself rather than just getting someone else to do it and wandering around looking pretty. So I'm going to get the pipe out. This just doesn't have a mirror. I can't, don't know if this pipe's out or not. I can only assume it is. I could change camera, I guess. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let him or he, she work. Let her worry about whether she's uh, in line with me or not. Oh, I can look at it out the window. Go figure. It's right there. a bit of time for that to yeah so um, that's on the cards for this week um, oh, why am I not surprised she crashed into a wall let's go and have a look Yeah, seems legit. Well, that sounds so unusual as well. Well, this is pulling it with some weight in it. We don't know if, if it's going to pull a full two trailers worth, but these two are probably getting on all right. 
to lead them to it. And this is Norman I don't know what he's up to. If he's driving around the circles deliberately or oh he's going up to unload that combine. Cool. Back on my combine. Let's get rid of this dialog box as well. That's probably annoying you guys. I've just spotted it. Um, someone that's in just recently gotten into doing coding has sent me a link for a game um, that she's working on. Um, I've not yet looked at it. It'd be interesting to see if it's any good, and I'll uh, do a video for that if it works. Um, I've done a very good job on this, and I think I'm cutting slightly. Ski whiff. Should use someone's probably shouting out. You should use GPS mod. Make your life a lot easier. Yeah, just more buttons to remember. I like doing it the old school way. Now is this? Whoa! It's gone in the water. That's probably why they leave that gap because they no they can't turn around. Get rid of the map as well. We don't need that for now. But I'll give that a go, see if that's any good. Um if you don't see anything you know it didn't work. So I've yet to uh, have a go on it or download it. I keep looking round to see the out the back, but no, I can't. It's like almost like look out the back, see if I can lean my head out, like on the American truck or ETS. Keep, try and keep a relatively straight line. I see it's kind of all gone a bit peak tongue anyway. Just try and tidy this little bit up. I'll probably cut in a little bit on that. Don't think I'm going to make that some swing around. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm again looking around to see what's going on behind me. Mirrors would be useful. I can only guessing game here. I'm going to do cut this down here. And act as a whoops, missed a bit, missed a bit, missed a bit. Act as a hedgerow. The old pipe out, I can hear him beside me. He's driving, or she's driving for the crop, but that doesn't bother me because he doesn't have crop disruption on. One mod I didn't actually get for this is auto beacons, admittedly. I don't know how that works. You guys, for you guys that played that. It's basically the one mod. Oh, it's going to go in the water. That's the downside. Do not go in the water. You're going to go in the water. I 
before he does or she does, I'm going to jump in the tractor and stop her because I can see her going, wanting to go swimming or get stuck very quickly. So I'm going to just quickly back out and try and get this out of this problem before it gets into that problem, if you know what I mean. And that shouldn't get stuck. Shouldn't get stuck, I'd say. Right. They're still getting on well, so I don't have to worry about them. I'm going to have to use cheat cam to see what's going on around me. Turn the beacons on as I'm on the road. There should be enough for the land to turn around in. Set yet another pass. In a way, going back to the whole of YouTube's policy change and everything, in a way, it's kind of. I've got that point now where it is what it is um, what's happened is what's happened um, I'm still thinking about doing Twitch but I'm not 100% sure um, I might just every now and again throw in a round of video of my music instead of royalty free music the only reason I haven't done it in this episode um, is even though this is a funny thing about YouTube. Even though you don't monetize the videos, if they pick up something that could be copyright infringement, they send you a whole raft of um, emails. Like, like that live, live stream I did. Now, I made sure that wasn't monetized in any way whatsoever because I knew I'd get a scrappy sprite strike on it. Um, and, but yeah, they still sent me like five emails saying this person has claimed copyright strike on this, this person's claim copyright strike on this, this person's claim copyright, don't worry it won't affect your channel, um, you'll just be give, they'll just be earning money instead of you and I was like, right, well, okay seems to you donations please, <laughs> yeah right, but uh, you know, going back it's just I, you know, I. it's kind of it might be a good time to sort of like just reset myself take it back to the days of where I first started you know and the the, the channel is growing and um, we're at what's it last time I looked 513 514 subscribers I think last time I looked which is all good But let me know guys, if it's something you'd like to see more of me doing, like I said, with more manual work around the world, um, farm, then let me know, you know, I'm happy, if, as long as you guys are happy with me doing this. The only reason I never did this in the past was purely because I thought it was a bit repetitive. Um, that's, and my combine driving skills, just rubbish really that as well that's my excuse I'm going to stop here because otherwise he's going to she or he he is going to crash into the so turn the combine off and raise the should be done the only downside to this is I don't know how much 
course play really understands what I'm doing because there's no direct communication between me and course play he's just gonna drive into that wall instead and do that even though he doesn't need to That's the downside. If you get course play to do this, then they'd just communicate to each other and tell each other what they're doing. But because there's no communication between me and a course play driver, he doesn't know what I'm doing, what my intentions are, and I don't know what he's doing, what his intentions are. Different shirt, man. That's the downside to this. I could cut a head row into it and stop all that, but... And I don't want to send him home. I could stop him, I guess, using the course play controls. That is an option. Well, I'll do a couple of more runs. I'll leave it at that, guys. Yeah, so, I can only apologise. I haven't done many farming simulator videos. I have kind of lapsed off to those, you know. That's before all the stuff has been going on. Um, like I've been saying to you guys, it's not like I've fallen out in love with it. It's just, it's a case of, it's a case of this map, especially this. I've chose the wrong map really for this classic work, classic farming, because these tractors and combines, um, it because they you have to use fairly small equipment it takes hours it takes it took like for instance it took me probably four and a half hours five hours just to get this all seeded up and ready for this episode and it's like mm, yeah and it's just like yeah and it's, you, you kind of think yeah it's just taking forever must be some an easier way, yeah, to buy new equipment, or bigger equipment. I wish I had a mirror. So I don't know what's going on behind me. But what's your favourite activity on Farming Simulator? Do you prefer doing combining? Do you prefer doing grass work or field work? Or do you prefer seeding? I remember from playing on Lead Farm, the Leadfoot Farm, and um, you know, people, certain people like doing certain things. A lot, of, a lot. I know a lot of people like doing chaff work. That seems to be a, a, a thing with a lot of people. They like doing. Chaff work. I'll put pipe out. Because I think he's gonna come at some point. Bit hurry up, I wasn't going to be full. I won't be able to combine anymore.
again. I'm going to stop here because I don't want him getting snagged up on that. stop him. This is probably the only way I can do it. Without him causing too many issues. Like crashing into a wall. Like I almost did there. now. It hasn't got stuck, so that's a good thing. Oh, me and my big mouth. Okay. I'll run, do this run and then I'll let liberate him. He's obviously stuck. Oh, no. Oh. Sort him out. Yeah, he's trying to trying to run the pigs over. Look, he's a pig massacrist. No. Stop, driver. But I hope you guys and girls all enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did, please feel free to like. Um, if you didn't enjoy the episode. Please feel free to dislike. Please leave a comment down below to the reasons why you didn't like it so I can improve in the future. If you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, guys and girls, please feel free to share. It helps me out a lot and I don't mind you sharing. Hello. And uh, if you're new to my channel and you see future episodes of this or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.